Is it worth leveling all the way to tier 5 just to get the LVOAC bad news? How good is the rifle? Well, today I'm going to test it in bullet drop, shot grouping, and damage versus other level 30 assault rifles. What's up guys, Dark Dally here, playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, and today, finally, it's time for me to test the LVOAC Bad News. Now, this is a very, very interesting weapon, and a lot of the testing I haven't done yet, I want to do it here live, because you guys know I like, to, I like to do stuff live. However, I do know this weapon does have some very unique qualities that we will be checking out. Now, first of all, the weapon does come suppressed, I simply, I just have my suppressor off. So, bearing that in mind... Let's have a look at the mods that this weapon comes with, and then we'll go into the testing. Now, yes, this weapon is level 30, and I have two other level 30 assault rifles to compare it against. So this is gonna be there's gonna we're gonna find something out here for sure. Okay, first of all, the first thing I want to address is the sight. A lot of people are not happy with these optics. The the EXPS G33, a lot of people are not happy with this. I, I know it bugs some of my friends. Now, myself personally. I've always preferred the EXPS G33. In fact, it's always been my preferred sight. I do describe the sight as a bit fiddly because you have to flip it up and down and this and that. But I think overall, I think my opinion is it is the most versatile sight. It's a see-through scope, so you can still see your surroundings when you're zoomed in. And you can get a very small amount of zoom or a really decent amount of zoom just by flipping the thing up and down. So you know there's that let's take a look at the other mods also it comes with a laser sight which i think is ideal for a couple of reasons one being cooperative play the laser sight if you have night vision on allows your teammates to see exactly where you're aiming also now this is just my opinion because i think it does seem because it's heavier it does help with recoil the lvoac bad news also comes with a grenade launcher built in and that's really good because it's this is really a solid package, especially when you consider it does have a suppressor. I just have mine off right now. It's a really good all-around package, everything you need for solid tier play, which is good because you don't get it until tier five. And by uh, this point, the game is pretty goddamn hard. As you tier up, enemies take more damage. They um, detect you quicker and they aim better. So you want something that's really good. We're going to look at all the stats. We're going to compare it in every way I can think of. We're going to do a lot of tests here. The only the only drawback to the modifications is it has a 30-round magazine, whereas so many assault rifles have a 50-round magazine, but you really don't need a larger magazine. So now that we've looked at it some, let's compare it, um, let's compare it stats-wise to some of the other... I have two other level 30 assault rifles, the L85A2 and the TAR-21. Now, these are great points of comparison because the TAR-21, stats-wise, stats-wise, has among, if not the highest overall stats of all the rifles. People would argue in four, well, you know, well, you know, whatever, but the TAR-21 has very high overall stats. So here we are comparing it to a level 30 TAR-21. And of course, of course, we can ignore the noise reduction because um, I'm not running a suppressor right now. So ignore that bar. You can see all the other stats are much, much, much higher than even a level 30 TAR-21. I also want to compare it to a level 30 L85. Now, the L85 is not the best stats-wise, but is, in contrast to the TAR-21, the L85A2 is a very solid assault rifle. That's why mine's level 30. It does not have the best stats, but it is a very solid rifle. Again, comparing the stats, there you go. Again, ignore the noise reduction. Now, we are going to test some stuff. First, I want to test bullet drop. And then we're going to look at some other things here. Now, I'm running all these weapons unsuppressed. I'm actually going to compare the bullet drop against a, uh, a Steyr AUG A3, whoops, which is right here in this hand, which is not level 30, but level does not affect bullet drop. Why am I comparing it to the AUG A3? Because I have tested, just for my personal uses, the assault rifle bullet drop, and I have found the Steyr AUG to have among the, pro quite possibly the lowest bullet drop of all the assault rifles so i want to compare the lvoec bad news against this and we're going to find out i'm at 200 meters now normally i test sniper rifle bullet drop at 350 but these are assault rifles so we're going to test them at 200 we're just going to aim at this cross area here now both of these assault rifles let me go ahead and show you what i've what i've got equipped here my aug a3 has the equivalent parts to the lvoec 
It has a grenade launcher, has the same sight, it has a long barrel, and the rangefinder has, which the LVAC does not have, but that's the point. The point is this has all the parts to give it the least amount of bullet drop and make it the most accurate and yet still match the bad news. You guys follow me? So I, I want to compare the LVOEC bad news to the absolute best of the bullet drop of the assault rifles. So let's find out. Here we have the AUG-A3. And here we can see that the bullet hole hit, well, directly beside the mark, actually. Let's move a little closer and we can see. Now, ignore that bullet hole up there. That's from a previous thing. I just fired the AUG-A3 and it fired literally right beside the mark. So it has basically no bullet drop even at 200 meters which is pretty good for an assault rifle and in fact again that's why i'm testing with the aug a3 because to my knowledge it has the least bullet drop of any of the assault rifles or at least among the least that's all we need to know let's go ahead let's check out the bad news and see how it compares so the aug the aug a3 had basically zero bullet drop let's go ahead and under the same circumstances let's fire with the bad news let's try to center this the best we can we don't have the best zoom here but this is the site we have to work with and when you're comparing bullet drop you want to use you you need to use the same optics for everything just fyi if you're comparing bullet drop you have to use the same optics because different optics make the target appear differently and i did not mean to fire that on full auto let's try a single shot let's see how these hit there we go uh, yeah, just an FYI, I've gotten some messages from, from some people who have done their own bullet drop measuring, but what they don't, they're not realizing is that um, different optics, they don't change the bullet drop, but they make you perceive it differently. Okay, now I hit a little lower, as we can see, oh shit, not much lower, to be quite honest, look at that. Wow, like, basically the same. So this thing has incredible, an incredible bullet drop. Now just for contrast... Let me go ahead and equip a rifle that I know has a lot of bullet drop. In fact, the most bullet drop of any assault rifle I know. Oh, we should have just gone up from the top. Which is, to, the Mark 17 has a lot of bullet drop. The Mark 17 Tiger Fang has even more, for some odd reason. This weapon right here has, again, from my test, the most bullet drop of any assault rifle in the game. So let's go ahead and just compare so we can kind of get an idea here. Let's take the suppressor off. Now it comes with the same sight. Well, that's lucky. We're already scoped in there. We have the same uh, optics. Let's try to get this as centered as we can. Single shot. And let's see where this hit. I have measured assault rifles, although I've not made a video on it just yet. And notice where it hit. See how much lower it hit? Even just 200 meters. So that's how good the the bad news is. The bad news has great bullet drop. It dropped an inch below the AUG A3, and then here it is compared to the worst that you know that I've measured so far of the assault rifles, which is the Tiger Fang. And you can see, look at that. And now let's go ahead and compare some bullet groupings with the bad news to see how it lines up with the other rifles. Here in my hand, I'm using one of my other level 30s, which is my TAR-21. I have it with all the same comparable mods. I had, do have it with a 30-round magazine to match the LVOAC. I have it with an EXPS-3 and G33 sight. And I have it with the grenade launcher. So we have really pretty equal playing ground here. Then now, why the TAR? Again, the reason is it's mine's level 30. Now, that doesn't matter in, in shot groups, but... I've used it a lot, I have it fully modified, and it has very high overall stats. Again, the TAR-21 has, well, stats-wise, very high. Let's just see how these shot groups look. Let's go ahead and fire the TAR first. So that's the shot group we got from the TAR. Now let's grab the bad news and just see how it mark, see how it uh, matches up. Let's start right here at the exact same start. Wow. Well, it has far better, the accuracy is what controls the side-to-side -side sway of the bullets, and as you can see, this thing is much more accurate and has much less recoil, as you can see, I, I, my shot group is far, far, far shorter. Let's go ahead and test it against, well, let's test it against the king of all of the, I mean, as far as I know, the assault rifle with the best recoil is the FAMAS G2, where is it at? There it is. It's only level two, but that's not going. That's you know, that's not going to affect bullet. Um, it's not going to affect my shot grouping whatsoever. Let's go ahead and let's put similar parts on it. Let's go ahead and put the EXPS and G33. There it is. Let's go ahead. It's got a grenade launcher. It's got. Uh, let's go ahead and. Well, the LVOC has a long, has a short barrel. Well, actually, its barrel is just covered with a rail. Let's just go ahead and put the standard barrel on it. We're going to take the suppressor off. 
and up oh, dirty run magazine and there we go we're on the we're on the same ground now we're on the same ground as the lvoec let's go ahead and let's try this because i know for a fact this thing is dead on accurate let's use using these parts let's see what kind of shot group we can get let's switch to it first how about that there we go now i'm in first person because this is how I get the most accurate shock groups. Okay, notice this does have a much tighter shock group. Let's go ahead and let's fix this up just a little bit. Now, um, okay, standard barrel we want. Okay, let's let's get the best shock group we can out of this rifle. And I know this is not really pertaining to what we're doing, but let's get the best shock group we can. I put a suppressor on because the suppressor adds more weight on the end of the weapon. The grenade launcher is actually good for recoil, but what's even better than a grenade launcher, and I've measured all of this, is the V4 foregrip. Here is the best shot group setup we can get for the G2, and we'll notice this should be much shorter. Yeah, see how much shorter it is? with the All I did was add a suppressor and a V4 foregrip, see how much shorter it is? Okay, so the LVOIC, bad news. Definitely better than the tar let's grab another one let's grab one more guys I, I want to do thorough testing let's grab one more let's grab a very popular one probably the most popular of the assault rifles for use in tier mode is the acr the acr and the m4 are probably the two most popular that i've seen used let's go ahead, let's set let's just set this up for optimum recoil okay we're not trying to i'm not uh here, here's what we're going to do for optics we are going to use the same scope if I can, there it is. And we're going to use uh, definitely a 30 round magazine. We need a same size magazine. We're going to pop in the V4 foregrip to get the best control. I actually think the laser sight is better for recoil, long barrel, and suppressor. There we go. This is the best that you can set up. Wait, let's check the buttstock, extended buttstock. Yeah. As far as I know, this is the best setup you're going to get recoil wise for an ACR. Let's go ahead, let's test these against each other because this is a very popular, popularly used weapon in tier mode. It really, really is. Okay, so we get this, we get the ACR out. I'm running, I'm, I'm running a suppress because just, just again, just to produce the recoils as much as I can to see what we can get. And there we have that. Let's go ahead, let's swap back to the LVOEC bad news. Let's go ahead and let's put the suppressor on it just to be fair. And let's see what we get. All right, this is a, this is a highly accurate weapon, and when you compare the damage, let's go ahead, let's run, let's run those. I I know I did before, but let's go ahead, let's just for the sake of argument, compare it to the ACR. Just looking at stats, I don't think stats really matter that much, but here's the difference in stats. Ignore the damage because my ACR is not leveled whatsoever, so ignore the damage bar. But look at the other stats and judge for yourself. Take from what you will. Now I will also compare with my Mark 17. This is also open with very, very high stats, especially damage and penetration. Now, my Mark 17 is only level 19, so I can't rightfully compare these. However, look at the damage. It looks like if I finished off my Mark 17, their damage would probably actually be equal. But the bad news has more penetration, much <laughs> twice the rate of fire according to the stats, and it actually has handling. So there's that, guys. And now, just for the purpose of being thorough, I'm going to try to compare the damage of the bad news against the damage of my other best rifle, which is my Tar 21. Now, maybe that's not the best rifle to compare it against, but it's the best rifle that I've got. And quite frankly, the Tar 21 has among the highest stats of all of the assault rifles, and mine is level 30, so it's the only one I can compare it with. So forgive me this small misstep. If some of you disagree and say the M4 is better, or the ACR, or the 5.56, or the AK-12, or whatever, or the R5, I know a lot of people use a lot of weapons. This is the best one that I have. They're both level 30. We're going to compare. Here's what we're going to do. I got a convoy incoming. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to stop that convoy right there at that marker, that 200 meter marker. I'm going to try my best to stop the convoy right there, and we're going to test these out. We are going to do it suppressed because suppressed is usually the way, from my experience, people fire weapons in tier mode just just because these weapons should have virtually no bullet drop at that, that range, so it shouldn't be a problem. Range does figure in as far as damage drop-off goes. Now, every weapon has their damage. Like, we compare, let's compare these against one another. Let's compare the tar to the bad news. Whoops, it's near the top. That's odd. Okay, there we go. 
And here you can see the damage of the bad news is much, much, much higher by about a third. But you can also see it has far less range. That means its damage drops off more over range. So that's why I want to do this test. So let's wait for this convoy to get here. Let's try to get it stopped. I'm going to try my best to get it stopped right there at 200 meters, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, they're not exact, but this is really the closest you can get it. Both weapons are suppressed. First, let's try the LVOAC. Wow, that guy only took two shots. Shit, that's better than some snipers. This guy took three shots. Let's move over to these guys. Wow, that dropped both of them. All right, let's swap over to uh, that. That's a little bit of data. I mean, this is really hard to do. That's that's some data. Let's swap to, let's swap to my Tar Twenty One, which again is just it's the best. It, it has very high overall stats and is my other best level thirty assault rifle, and it has pretty much all the same parts. So let's go ahead and try this. Now, these guys I'm shooting are going to be a little farther away. Shouldn't matter. Wow, this has a lot more bullet drop. Holy shit. Of course, that guy's 300 meters away. Okay, it took a lot more... Uh, again, this is just the best testing that I can figure to do. They seem kind of level playing ground, to be quite honest. As far as uh, let, let, let's move in, and let's uh, let's close in here and see what I can get. This is not a definitive thing, mind you. I know those were different ranges, but again, kind of the best I can do. Aside from, well, I don't know what else I could do. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. Wow. That guy took like five fucking shots. Did you see that shit? Yeah, you saw that shit. That guy took like five shots. We are in tier mode, of course. I'm tier five. Um, so they're going to have increased detection, increased accuracy, and increased uh, health. There's one. There's two hits. That was about a three hit kill, thereabouts. Oh, and a dead. Let's. Uh, well, let's get some free tier points real quick here. Free tier points. <laughs> All right, let's get back to what we were doing. Got one guy left. 192 meters. There should be basically no drop. One, two. So that's two shots on this guy. Uh, it's hard to tell. I am firing full auto. It's not the best test, guys, but the LV OAC bad news dropped a couple of them in only two shots. And then there was those two guys I dropped with one just one burst. I dropped two guys. The TAR-21, again, best weapon I can compare it against that I have in my arsenal. Sorry, I don't have everything at level 30 just yet, but I'm uh, I'm working on it. But the TAR-21 did seem to take an average of more bullets. You're welcome to go back and count, but it seemed to me that the TAR-21 took a few more bullets. Uh, on average, one more, we'll say one more bullet more is what we'll say. That's kind of what it looked like. Let's put my bad news back on. Let's go ahead. Let's check this out. And I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. So that's 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 this test. So this weapon has incredible bullet drop. It has a decent shot grouping, and it doesn't it does do incredible damage proved on alerted enemies. That was the whole point of that test was to do it on alerted enemies. That's kind of hard to do. It's hard to get alerted enemies to stand the fuck still so you can shoot them. Right? That's the best they can do. This is a solid weapon. So the question is, is it worth getting the tier five to get? Well, here's there, there's two sides to that. On one side, yes, it is definitely worth it because this is quite possibly the best assault rifle in the game. I, I think I've shown that. I think I've shown that overall, it's a very, very solid assault rifle in the game. And as it happens, it's quite the solid assault rifle in real life as well. That's a that's another matter. However, there's one there's there is one thing to consider. You have to get the tier five to get it. Once you get to tier five. Now, if you're like me, I have 100% completion in the game. I was already just about done playing the game when tier mode came out. I don't have much left to do except grind the tier one. After that, my game's over. Basically, what else am I going to do? Just keep doing this kind of stuff, I guess. I guess just keep testing. So for the average person, 
once you get this, you're kind of near the end of the goddamn game and there's not much point in having the best assault rifle because there's nothing to shoot because you're already bored of shooting everything. So there's that. So take that into consideration as well. Now, is it worth the grind? Actually, no. I, I, I don't think it's worth the grind. There's plenty of decent assault rifles that are very good and it took me quite some time to grind down the tier five. So no, it's not worth the grind. And uh, once you get it, you may not even need it. However, it's fucking badass, guys. So take that all as you will. Take it for what it is. That's the best that I can show this weapon. And bullet drop, uh, damage, comparisons, shot groupings, things like that. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope it helped you decide whether or not you, you want to go ahead and, and, and use this weapon or not. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Guys, my name is Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.